Hello, Ontario! Good morning! Welcome to second grading! Yes, you hear it right. It's our second grading and I would like to congratulate everyone for a job well done last grading period. So, welcome to lesson one. And for this week, our lesson is listening strategies. Now, I hope you will uh, like the PowerPoint presentation that I make for this week. Okay, class, how well do you listen? Do you listen carefully to your parents or, of course, to me, to your teacher? Now, when we say listening, we are actually using our sense of hearing. However, we should learn how to differentiate hearing from listening. Because when we say hearing, we are just simply acquiring sounds around us. But when we say listening, we are beginning to understand the sounds that we acquire. Do you know that not only humans have the ability to listen? You probably heard the expression elephant ears. This is actually an idiomatic expression. It describes someone with an extraordinary ability to hear sounds that would be inaudible to virtually everyone else. Well, the phrase is extremely accurate. Elephants have some of the best hearing sound. They can hear at frequency 20 times lower than humans. It isn't just their ears that perceive sound. These majestic beasts also have receptors in their trunks and feet that are excellent at picking up low-frequency vibrations. That explains why elephants are usually the first animals to detect an upcoming thunderstorm and move toward the new source of water. Now you see class, even in animals, listening actually is a very nice skill. So we learned something from science today. Let's move on. Listening, though often underrated, is one of the most essential skills we use in our day-to-day -day communication. When done right, it enables us to completely understand matters we hear and come up with appropriate feedback for a specific when needed. Whether we listen for a specific idea or an array of more difficult concepts and details, it is important that we know how to employ ways that can help us listen effectively. Now, look at the words that I highlighted in this slide. We have most essential skills, communication, understand ways, and listen effectively. Now, in this lesson, we will try to uh, find two ways or we will uh, use two ways on how are you going to listen effectively because again listening is important in our day-to-day -day communication because it will help us to eliminate misunderstanding between the people around us there are two types of listening strategies the first one is known as the top-down listening strategy. This is considered listener-based strategy. So when we say listener-based, it focuses on yourself. In these strategies, the listener uses background knowledge to make sense of what he or she is listening to. Now, take note of the word background knowledge. When we say background knowledge, these are information stuck already in your brain. These are your prior knowledge brought by your previous experiences and also brought by your previous learnings. This means that he or she already knows a fair amount of information about the topic and he or she is able to relate a story or information into a previously established schema or prior knowledge. Now again, let me explain further. When we say top-down, it focuses on yourself. Your ability to recall facts based from your previous experiences and learnings will help you in undertaking top-down activities. And what are these top-down activities? Number one, listening for main idea. 
Now, when you're listening for main idea, you are trying to eliminate, of course, the not so important ideas in a certain text. Making predictions. Before you make predictions, of course, you must be able to understand the real life scenario embedded in a certain text. Drawing inferences. Making predictions and drawing inferences are, of course, the same. Just like in science, we have what we call hypothesis. In English, we have what we call inferences. These are intelligent guesses that you can make after, of course, understanding a certain selection. And last and number four, we have summarizing. When we summarize, just like listening for main idea, we are trying to figure out what is important and eliminate what is not so important in a certain selection. And of course, the easiest one is taking down notes. So again, let us review. These are the five top-down listening activities. Listening for main idea, making predictions, drawing inferences, summarizing, and taking down notes. Now, are you ready for number two? Number two, bottom-up listening strategies, on the other hand, are considered text-based strategies. It focuses, of course, on that selection that you are reading. When using these strategies, the listener attempts to make sense of the language sound by sound, word by word, with less use of background knowledge. The listener relies on the language in the message, examples like sounds, words, and grammars that create meaning. Now let's extract these important ideas or important words in this definition. Again, Unlike the other one, it does not focus on yourself. It focuses on the selection itself. That's why it is called text-based strategy. The listener or you yourself focuses on the language, the grammar, the sound that you hear. Of course, simply because you are not so familiar with a certain selection. Now, other examples of common bottom-up listening strategies are, or listening activities rather, are listening for specific details. When you are trying to extract the WH or the WH information from a certain selection, you are text-based. What are those WH? Which, when, where, when, why, and what? Okay? Recognizing word order patterns or simply sequencing events, you are also after the language or after the communication per se in a certain selection. Recognizing word sounds and also recognizing cognates. So again, let's review. There are four common activities in top-down. Listening for specific details. Recognizing word order patterns, recognizing word sounds, and recognizing cognates. Okay, so yesterday, Monday, based on our WHLP, you did learning test one. Now let us recall. Decide whether each of the listening strategies below should be categorized as top-down or bottom-up strategies. Write your answers in your notebook. Now class, learning test one actually is a recall activity. Based from the lectures that you heard a while ago or based from the lectures that you read on your text, on your modules, now let us try to answer these 10 uh, item tests. Number one, taking down notes. Number two, listening for specific details. Number three, identifying the speaker. Again, let's just review. Top-down listening strategy, you have a fair amount of info about the topic. Bottom-up listening strategy, you have less info about the topic. So what do you think is your answer again in number one? Top-down, you're correct. How about number two? 
if your answer is bottom up, then you are also correct. Number three is also top down. Now let's continue. Number four, summarizing. Five, drawing inferences. Six, recognizing cognates. Seven, recognizing divisions between words. Eight, listening for main idea. Nine, recognizing word order patterns. And number 10, making predictions. Okay, get your notebooks and let us check. So four, we have top down. Five, we have also top down. Six, we have bottom up. Seven, we have bottom up. Eight, we have top down. Nine is also bottom up. And ten is top down. Now, how many were able to get 10 in this activity? Okay, no worries at all because this is just an initial test. Now, for today, oops, rather, we still have another activity yesterday and that was learning test 3. So, based from your WHLP again, okay, it says there, listen to your favorite English song. Copy its lyrics in your notebook, then answer the questions that follow. So these questions are actually written on your module. Let us read. What do you think is your chosen song about? Which words or phrases help you understand the context of your chosen song? And then you're going to explain your answer. How will you rate your familiarity of the context of your chosen song using a scale of 1 being the lowest and 10 as the highest? Do you know of real-life scenarios or stories that you can relate to your chosen song? Cite at least one and explain how it relates to your chosen song. Now, class, I have here, of course, an example for test 3. And I hope you're not going to copy, okay, because it is a sample only. My song title is You by Carpenters. And... Okay, I just copied the first and second stanza of the song and allowed me to read it. You are the one who makes me happy when everything else turns to gray. Yours is the voice that wakes me mornings and sends me out into the day. You are the crowd that sits quiet, listening to me, and all the mad sense that I make. You are one of the few things worth remembering, and since it's all true, could anyone mean more to me than you? Okay, so to answer our four questions, my chosen song is about someone who make a girl happy. Okay, that is the actually the topic of the song. Number two, the words or phrases that help me understand the context of the song are found in the first stanza because it clearly narrates how the person affects her life. Number three, I will rate it as number 10 because I am very much familiar with it. And for number four, my personal love story. When I found my husband, of course, I realized he affects my emotion and my world just like the persona in this song. So I hope you were able to answer task three. Okay, yesterday. And if you're not yet done, now... Using this guide, you will be able to answer test 3. So, let's now focus on test 4 because today is Tuesday. Now, we will have test 4. Examine the excerpts taken from President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's speech. As you read or listen, complete the table provided below. The table asks you to provide specific details about some of the areas concerned mentioned by the president. Write your answers in your notebook. Now, you're going to see the entire copy of the excerpt on your module on page 9. Now, let me have here... Now, let us uh, unlock some vocabulary, okay? The word excerpt actually is a noun, which means a short extract from an original text. Again, when we say excerpt, it is a short extract from an original text. So, that is not the original text. That is just a short extract from it, okay? So, allow me to read 
President Duterte's State of the Nation Address last July 27, 2020. It says here, My countrymen, it is said that while government focuses its attention and resources to battle the coronavirus, there are those who take advantage of preoccupied government. The dealers and purveyors of illegal drugs hiding in the shadow of COVID-19 have stepped up their activities. The amount of shabu valued at millions of pesos seized during police operation speak volumes of the enormity and weight of the problem that we hear. The corrupt, the grafters, and the influence peddlers also take advantage of the fear and confusion that the coronavirus generates. The financial and material assistance of the government to the unemployed, the sick, and the destitute running into billions of pesos are not spared from corruptions and ineptitude. Even the donations from well-meaning private persons are schemed before reaching their intended beneficiaries. It is like snatching food from the mouths of babies. The profiteers, overpricers, and corrupt felons must be laughing while they stash their dirty monies, but not for long. They cannot outrun the long arm of the law. If we allow greed, self-interest, and ambition to rule us, then as stated by one prominent physician, we will be left with nothing better than the lesser and instead of the greater good. The efforts and resources which we poured out produced the momentum needed to bring our country closer to our goals. Suffice it to state, we made significant strides over time. So if you notice, in the excerpt, there are actually uh, unfinished sentences. So that means some sentences are actually omitted. Okay, so again, the original copy of this is found on page 9 of your module. Now, since it is stated on the module, okay, so let's answer the, um, the, the table that we have here. What did the president say about this topic? This is also presented below the, the excerpt on page 9. Now, if you notice, I eliminated COVID-19 responses because that is actually not mentioned in the selection. So I substituted it with profiters, overpricers, and corrupt felons. And the number two is still illegal drugs. And number three, graft and corruption. Now, based from the text, you can actually read it again if you want and then lift some important information from the text itself. So let's answer number one. So for the profiteers, overpricers, and corrupt felons, these are actually businessmen who take advantage of the situation. President Duterte said they must be laughing while they stash their dirty monies, but not for long. They cannot outrun the long arm of the law. So meaning they cannot escape, of course, the penalties that these actions are are acquiring to or they will be receiving a due penalty out of their wrong actions and for illegal drugs now let me guide you this is stated in the second paragraph of the excerpt it says there the amount of shabu valued at millions of pesos seized during police operations speak volumes of the enormity and weight of the problem that we bear so meaning in spite of the COVID-19 crisis, drug dealers are actually taking advantage also of the situation, of the business of the situations, and they were uh, still pursuing selling and buying drugs. And of course, for graft and corruption, you can find the answer in the third paragraph. So what do you think are the most important sentences there? Okay. So here it is. Let us read. The financial and material assistance of the government to the unemployed, the sick, and the destitute running into billions of pesos are not spared from corruption and ineptitude. Even the donations from well-meaning private persons are schemed before reaching their intended beneficiaries. Now, 
where uh, if you're watching the news before, they were actually people who are not qualified for the benefits, but because of graft and corruptions done by our uh, local officials, so they are trying to manipulate the results or the listing of the people in their barangay. So again, these are directly taken from the excerpt. So we are actually taking down uh, specific information based from our listening selection. So I think this is actually a guide. Now let me give you another uh, example or another activity congruent to that. So another follow-up activity. This is not present in the module, so I want you to listen very carefully. Listen to a news report or to a news excerpt from inquire.net, then complete the table below. So this is a table. I'm going to read the text twice so you can actually take down notes so you can identify the actions of PNP, what is stated in NCR Plus, and what is stated in, uh, in nationwide violators, okay? So, are you ready? Let us read, or let me read, rather. Manila, Philippines, the Philippine National Police, or PNP, recorded 97,635 violations of minimum public health and safety protocols against COVID-19 in the National Capital Region, or NCR+, plus areas from November 5 to November 8, or since Metro Manila was placed under Alert Level 2, nationwide 144,295 violators of minimum public health and safety protocols were, were recorded for the same period, which means that 67% of the violations occurred in NCR Plus areas including Metro Manila and neighboring provinces of Bulacan, Cavite, Rizal, and Laguna. So again, let me have uh, the second reading of our news excerpt. And while I'm reading it, I want you to jot down notes on actions of PNP, NCR Plus, and nationwide violators. Manila, Philippines, the Philippine National Police, or PNP, recorded 97,635 violations of minimum public health and safety protocols against COVID-19 in the National Capital Region, or NCR Plus, areas from November 5 to November 8, or since Metro Manila was placed under Alert Level 2. Nationwide, 144,000 295 violators of minimum public health and safety protocols were recorded for the same period, which means that 67% of the violations occurred in NCR Plus areas including Metro Manila and neighboring provinces of Bulacan, Cavite, Rizal, and Laguna. So let me see how, how well did you listen. Okay, so this is actually bottom-up listening strategies because uh, basically, the selection itself is uh, not so familiar with you. So we, we have, I mentioned here some figures. So I hope you were able to jot down these important points. So are you ready? So let's see who among you are correct. For the actions of PNP, the Philippine National Police or PNP recorded violations of minimum public health and safety protocols against COVID-19. So I do not expect that you will be able to copy the entire sentence, but the most important words here are recorded violations. So they were able to record violations of COVID-19. Now, what did the news say about NCR Plus? So let's see. NCR Plus has 97,635 violations since November 5 to November 8. So the most important word here is 97,635 violations. Imagine it is only three days, but there are so many violations of the minimum safety protocols of COVID-19. And nationwide, which is very much alarming, of course, 
144,295 violations of minimum public health and safety protocols were, called, were, were recorded also by the PNP. So compared to Manila only, it's, it's actually one and a half size. So meaning there are so many violators in NCR plus compared to other provinces nationwide. So again, in this activity, you were able to use the bottom-up listening strategy. Okay. So for our generalization, let me hear what I let me hear from you. What have you learned? Now on your notebooks, I want you to answer this. Today, I learned that listening has blank strategies. How many strategies do we have? Number one is blank. It is listener-based strategy. And number two is blank. It is a text-based strategy. So, uh, check my other video for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday's activity. And that's all for today and tour you. Again, this is... Is your schooling map and your mirrors saying thank you and for our references we have pivot lm calabarzon i also use internetinquirer.net google images and pinterest so thank you for watching and i hope you learned something for today god bless